What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy JD, I hope you've had a great weekend and are having a great Sunday, if you're not, I can tell you now, this video might make it that much better. Hope to make you laugh in this because it's a very interesting case we're dealing with. In today's videos, my friends, it's the issues surrounding transgender rights. Specifically, whether when these people commit crimes, right, what ward should they be sent into? Should it be the male? Should it be the female? I think we all know the answer and I'm going to give my opinion after we've got into this weird, weird scenario. However, there's an influencer called Nikita Dragon who was a male and then transitioned into a female who has just committed a load of crimes and it's quite bizarre. I don't really know what went on during this person's mind, but uh, let's get into this. On November 7th, officers responded to reports of someone at a hotel being extremely disorderly and playing loud music in their room. It states when hotel security and police officers knocked on her door, Dragon slammed it and then swung an open water bottle at them. She was arrested on a Fennelly assault charge, misdemeanor battery and misdemeanor disorderly conduct. Now what this article is leaving out very interestingly when they talk about extremely disorderly, according to reports, allegedly this man was running around the hotel but naked with his schlong swinging about like it was something you might find at your local fairground anyway they got arrested and they were put into a male ward because obviously they are male and the internet oh and their fans are not happy oh no 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 this isn't right how can you discriminate against such a person they should be with all the females and interestingly there's a video that has now been released of this man requesting that they be put into the female ward. Do I have to stay here? Please get me. Take a look. You want me to call you Miss? Case, okay? or you, what would you prefer Thank me you. to address you as? She, she and her. As oh, okay, that's fine. Thank you. It looks like she's here on vacation. Oh, from Thank New you. York. Mm -hmm. Right, there was an incident at the hotel. So let me read what happened. The Good Times Hotel. The battery is throwing water or spilling water at the officer and the security guard. You're, you're going to order that you stay away from the Good Times Hotel. Do you have to go there to get your personal belongings? I do. You're not allowed to go, stick, go back there, but you can return there to get your personal belongings. Otherwise, you got to stay away from there. And, and Your Honor, sure. may I ask one question? Sure. Um, may I? Do I have to stay here in the men's unit still? Yeah, I don't make the rules up there, but they okay. should make a proper accommodation for you. You should be in a separate, a separate area. Can you, can, you can contact the um, a bondsman to try and get you out. Yes, it's all very interesting and all very heartbreaking. Uh, let me just say, right, let's be real here, let's be real. Whatever gender you were given at the time you were born should determine what ward you're put in. If you were born with a, I don't know, a schlong, you're put into a male ward. If you're born with... I can't think of a very funny word for the other thing, you're put into a female ward and that's it. However, however, in this case, do I think people like Nikita Dragon should be given a little bit more extra protection? Maybe, because when they're put into this male ward, right, bearing in mind, this person looks extremely like a woman, right? And so do a lot of these transgender people. So if you put them into a prison with all of these men, these people who haven't had a taste of the pie in so long and are gonna say, <laughs> We'll start looking at people like Nikita Dragon, like Alex did out of Madagascar with Marty, right? We don't want that whatsoever. So yes, I think protection may be needed for these certain people, okay? But then on the flip side, if you put them in a female ward, do I then think the females also need protection? Of course, because this person that you've just put in that ward might decide one day, ah, yeah, you know what? I no longer want to be a female, I want to be a male. And then they have all of these females that they can attack because they will overpower these females. Then all those females are at a massive risk. But then I think to myself, right, why are we even having this conversation right now? Because if you're mad, if you're so upset that you're going to be put into a male ward to begin with, why do you commit crimes in the first place? How about, how about, you know, a little common sense here, which we've seemed to lose over the years, just don't commit crimes, just don't do it. And then if you're going to be arrested, right, don't throw water over police. But it's all very progressive, you know, to assault a police officer these days gets a thumbs up from the left. If you're that upset, if you're that mad about going to prison and you're, or you're a fan of hers, by the way, his, and you're upset that they're gonna put him in a male ward, how about you send them a message and be like, listen, just stop committing crimes. <laughs> we won't be having this conversation right now. But no, you want to decide, this person wants to decide to run around the hotel with a hot dog without the bun on full show. And I'm supposed to sit here and be like, oh, no, 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 this is, this is so terrible. Shut up. Oh, I forgot to mention, right? I forgot to mention. I was going to end the video right there. I forgot to mention. 
We can all talk about trans rights all day, for hours. We can have many debates about it, but there's one thing I fail to see many people mentioning right now. What about all the men that get attacked by other men in these prisons, right? They get brutally attacked. What about their rights? What about men's rights? Because it seems to me, right, as the years go by, men are losing more and more of their rights, if they even had them in the very first place. Because I'm sure there are some men in that prison that would love to have the right to be <laughs> in another war because they don't want to be attacked constantly. But no, 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 no. Again, that's not progressive. That's not progressive. So we don't talk about it. Let's be honest here, right? Let's be honest. We would only be talking about a man moving to a different ward and supporting him if he decided to change his gender or decided to come out as non-binary. Because as we know, people who are actually biological males and even females, like they don't matter anymore. They don't matter. If you don't actually know, right, if you want to mean something in this world, now you have to change your gender. Because as we realized, as I said yesterday, transgender people get more attention, as I choke on my words, get more attention than actual women and men can get. It's funny how that's all flipped, hasn't it? Hmm. And they still blame men for absolutely everything. So Nikita Dragon, uh, again, I don't know who you are, but how about you just accept the fact that you're going to be in a male ward? And if you want protection, fine, whatever. Uh, you're legally a male. I don't think we can legally change genders because it's biological. I don't think any law can change the fact that you're a male. And if they want to, uh, they shouldn't because that just completely gets rid of everything normal. So let's just say accept that you're in prison for committing crimes that you shouldn't be really committing in the very first place and just accept what's going on just accept it and move on stop crying stop complaining stop trying to get sympathy from people because it's not going to work really it's not going to work okay there'll be people out there that care about you and be crying ah. but people with common sense right we, we just want to move on from this stuff okay just accept it and move on but ladies and gentlemen i hope you have enjoyed today's video about us talking about another male who is complaining about the world and then being so oppressed uh if you have enjoyed today's video and i have put a smile on your face then please for me make sure to leave a like rating if you're new hit that big red subscribe button and turn on bell notification so you never miss a video i wouldn't want you to do that i wouldn't want you to do that <laughs> but until next time that has been your boy jd please for me make sure to always always have a great day and stay safe I'm out. Peace. See you next time.